What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video we're talking about Untethered and the Acorn Untether released a couple of days ago and of course we're going to clarify what's going on with the iOS 13 compatibility. Now as you probably remember Zero posted this in here quote Untethered plus and sandbox code execution based on this talk in here by Lil Lalo, Saigoza, Zekops and Brandon Azad. And it's actually based on this talk by Lil Lalo in which he explains everything about the vulnerability and how he created the Untether and stuff like that. For those of you who want it, it's called Tales of an Old Untethering iOS 11 and it's actually very very interesting so the link will be in the description down below if you're interested in getting into jailbreak development this is actually very good to know and of course it explains very well but yeah thanks to little Lalo I got some very important clarifications he actually took to DMs to explain a lot of things to me about the Untether and what prevents it from working on iOS 13 and how much of it works on iOS 13 and whether there is a chance for it to work on iOS 13 in the future and hopefully this will clarify the confusion about iOS 13. Now initially I talked with Zerob and he told me that although parts of the Untether was patched, for example the ASLR bug, the raccoon part of it wasn't. Now at that time I thought that the raccoon part is actually the most important one, but it turns out it's not. If you take a look in here on GitHub on the Acorn Untether project, which is for iOS 11 and it works on iOS 11, you can see that it describes the files and stuff like that, including the raccoon.configuration and many other things in here and it explains what each stage too. This is actually very well explained in there, however at that point I didn't know which one is the actual bug. Turns out that I talked with little Lalo after that and he explained the fact that the ASLR bug is the important one and that one got patched in iOS 12 beta 1. Now by patched it doesn't really mean that they really got rid of the bug completely. Apple has apparently enlarged the address space for the cache on iOS 12 beta 1 which means that the chances to get into the right spot are actually much much lower now and because of the nature of that exploit you wouldn't be able to just try again you have to reboot your device and hope for the best as Zerub says so unfortunately that means that even though the bug itself still exists and according to Xerob it still works like 10 or 15 percent of the times that's actually way too low for an untether especially since you cannot simply try again you have to reboot the device and as he says hope for the best. So the bug itself still exists on iOS 13 and iOS 12 and in theory you could actually swap it with another ASLR bug according to little Lalo and that would work but we haven't had an ASLR bug since iOS 6. Yeah that's not exactly very possible at the moment and even if you do that you would be able to get an untether for iOS 12 by combining the raccoon part which hasn't been patched with another ASLR bug that you may find but that's very unlikely to happen and you would get an untether for iOS 12 and iOS 13 but but that wouldn't work on the A12 and A13. You would need at least a PAC bypass and even then you would still face problems but it would work for the other devices pre A12. So yeah, you could in theory create an untether for iOS 12 and iOS 13 with the existing unpatched raccoon bug from the Acorn untether for iOS 11 and the new ASLR bug but we don't have a new ASLR bug and the one that we had for the iOS 11 that they talk about here in Acorn and in this presentation has been patched by Apple and iOS 12 beta 1 and they made it very very unreliable down to 10 or 15 percent which is basically unusable for an untether. So even though it's possible to create an untether using components from the Acorn project for iOS 11 you would still need a new ASLR bug which are very very rare and of course even then you would probably need a new PAC bypass for A12 so it's definitely very complicated. I would not expect anything for the iOS 13, 12, 13.1 and so on in near future in terms of untethered. At least not with this in here because as I said while the raccoon part still works according to little Lalo the raccoon part is not the important part. The ASLR bug was and that one was reduced to only 10 to 15 percent. So yeah the takeaway from this is that we can create an untether for iOS 13 and 12 but only if we find a new ASLR bug to pair it with the raccoon bug in here and that's already very unlikely to happen since the last one we had was on iOS 6 but even then even if you get that you would still need a PAC bypass for the A12 and A13. So yeah to clarify this in here would not work on iOS 13 even if the raccoon bug works. If you want more information or you want to talk about this check out our jailbreak central forum. I'm available here daily and I can reply to your questions if you want jailbreak help or if you have questions about jailbreak development. Thank you for watching I am Geosnow. Till the next time I hope this video clarifies the situation for the untether and peace out.